Today in the closet, I'm with Peter Mathias. Hello. Hello. TV presenter, TV producer, chef, gastronomic tour guide, yeah. writer, who burst onto our screens in full technicolour <laughs> in um, Taste New Zealand. Yeah, 2000. No, it was 1995. Right. And your outfits were just fabulous, and she charmed her way into people's kitchens and into people's hearts, wearing the most amazing outfits. That was such a good time. It was wonderful. I always remember the photo of you with a plow and yes, a handbag. Yes, and that handbag. Oh my goodness, you've got a good memory. That was all. That that was all staged. You know, as soon as my producers saw the way I was dressed. They said, right, we're going to exaggerate this. You know, that was all deliberate. You know, the fact that I'd be on a fishing boat dressed in a ball gown, that was all deliberate. That, you know, I obviously don't normally dress like that. And so, yes, it's, I remember that handbag thing. That and was really funny. And it just was so out here. But also your clothes for New Zealanders who are, um, tend to be a little shy of colour. Yes. Your clothes. And shy in different. general. Yeah. Yeah. Your clothes took us to another world. Yeah. Well, I, I was probably influenced a lot by living in uh, Europe for 10 years. You know, I lived in France for 10 years, and I learned a lot about dressing. The way I dressed changed dramatically when I moved to France. Um, I, got, I got my a, a lot of help and influence from the way French women dressed, and my French boyfriends were very chic. And unlike New Zealand men, they had an opinion on what you were wearing. And so they inf and they, and they showed me designers that they thought were wonderful. And but not in a controlling way, in a nice way, because I was still dressing like a hippie in those days. Yes, yeah. that was, you know, nineteen eighty. And that's oh yeah, same deconstructed. Yeah. So then you have to do if you're gonna do that, you have the we call them French scenes, but French probably don't call them that. Were you... Um, well, left scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're committed to the colour purple. I'm reasonably committed, but not to all purple. So there's a whole bunch ah. at one end. Yeah, there's a whole bunch at one end I can't wear. And the problem with being committed to purple is people give you purple things. <laughs> okay, like, so what, what... Looking at your wardrobe, yeah. what's, what's the purple things that people have given you? Um... It's been, I can't remember the last time I wore that. I got that in Melbourne, I think, or Sydney somewhere. And at the time, I was like, well, that's kind of cool. It's sort of like 1970-ish, and I love the orange, and it's not a colour that I would usually... The name, Vince Maloney. Vince Maloney. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like a gangster. Yeah, you can picture Vince <laughs> with his big cigar going, I love this, yeah. And Vince wearing a lot of that, maybe a lot of brown as well. Having a lot of short espressos. Um, yeah. Uh, so, this is the... Stephen Gallagher wardrobe. Yeah, at the moment. Um, yeah. My, my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> I wore that to my first day at work with the pink boots. <laughs> Starters you mean to carry on. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to wear that, are you? <laughs> I wear that colour with that colour.